I'm currently standing in the middle of where the Madison River should be flowing. A dam failure at Hebgen Dam has caused water levels to dramatically drop and now groups of volunteers are here hoping to rescue some fish. In Ennis, the fishing community gathered early in the morning to work as quickly as they could to save fish along the Madison River. The worry here is that as it gets colder, fish could get trapped. Luckily, I could just call the boss and get work off immediately and come out here and um, try to make something happen. The urgency is not only to save the fish, but the community that this industry supports. This is livelihood for a lot of people in Ennis and um, West Yellowstone. According to the USGS, since Tuesday, water levels have dropped around a foot. It got to as low as 600 cubic feet per second. You know, monitor the river uh, and, and assess conditions as well as, you know, doing what we can to move fish that are stranded back into the main channel. Now FWP is monitoring the Madison River, but it is also assisting volunteers who came out. It's kind of sounds like it's going to be just a scoop and grab going in. The goal today was to cover as much area as possible. Groups of fishers gathered along the banks of the Madison River from Hegman Dam to Ennis. It's a, it's a great demonstration of, of how much people care about the resource in, in the river here. The fishers who met along the Madison say it's more than just helping save trout. It's Montana. It's part of Montana. It's part of our community. Right now, what caused the gate malfunction at the dam is still unknown, but people we spoke with say... Would like more answers from Northwestern Energy on what actually happened. Right now, Northwestern says they are working to fix the dam, but still haven't provided a timeline of when water flows could resume as normal. But these folks say they're ready to help out as long as needed. For right now, just hanging on the fact that the community's coming together and people are doing what they can. Along the banks of the Madison River, Edgar Cedillo, MTN News.